Stay at home dad? Everybody got time for that. Why? Because science. Dad, dad science. science. Hey guys, Trace here for D News with my friend Chastity. She is the D News associate producer. Hi Chastity. Hey Trace, hey guys. So Father's Day is here. That's right. So you know what that means? It's time to talk about dad science. Yep. So when we think about stay-at-home parents, most of us picture a mother, right? But there is a growing number of stay-at-home fathers here in the U.S. too. According to Pew Research, two million dads are staying home with their children, nearly doubling in number since 1989. Yeah, and at the end of the Great Recession, the number of stay-at-home dads hit 2.2 million in the U.S., the highest number ever. However, high unemployment rates during that time were not the only reason. Of course, they ain't got nothing on the five million stay-at-home moms, but nice work pops. Though 21% of these at-home dads say that they're at home primarily to care for their family. 23% say they just can't find a job kind of sad. Regardless, one third of all stay-at-home daddios are either ill or somehow disabled. And to be frank, the public is a little conflicted about the growing trend of fathers staying at home. In a 2013 Pew Research survey, only 8% of respondents believe children to be better off with a father at home and not working. And in comparison, 51% said children are better off with a stay-at-home mom. Get with the times, people. Dads are changing up your norms and expectations. Mm -hmm. We've got paternity leave and everything. Countries like Sweden and Portugal have mandated fatherly leave from work, but there's just this stigma about dudes helping out with babies. And not just by staying home with the kids either. According to research from the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, new fathers' brains adapt to becoming more maternal. Ah, the study found that men in primary care roles become hypersensitive to their baby's verbal and physical signals due to increased activity in certain areas of the brain. This is exciting because before now, this brain activity was only seen in moms. But when looking at heterosexual study participants, they found the mothers had heightened activity in the brain's emotional motion processing regions, while the father's brains showed increased activity in their cognitive circuits, which helped them assess the baby's physical needs. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting in itself, but they took it one step further and they flipped the switch and analyzed the brain activity of gay fathers. They found that men who raise children without female involvement mirror the changes in brain activity seen in both the traditional mother and the father. What? Yeah, their emotional circuits were just as active as the mother's, and they showed the same cognitive circuit changes that the heterosexual fathers Oh snap! We found it! The rainbow connection. One would think that this could influence the debate over gay couples and adoption. It seems like there's a lot of science supporting dads as primary caregivers and taking on domestic roles. It's true. Another study in psychological science suggests that dads who help with household chores are more likely to raise daughters with bigger aspirations. I can vouch for that. The research looked at how parents' behaviors and domestic roles predict the children's future aspirations. They surveyed 326 children between the ages of 7 and 13 and at least one of their parents. According to their results, when fathers took on a fair share of the household labor, their daughters had a greater interest in working outside of the home and getting higher paying careers. Mm -hmm. Actions speak louder than words, dads. Do those dishes and figure out how the washing machine works. You'll help your daughters dream bigger. And have a happy Father's Day, everybody. Let us know what you think of these studies down in the comments. I'm Trace. Thanks for watching D News. And I'm Chastity. We'll see you next time. Bye.